France. So I have arrived in France, guys. It has been quite the journey so far, I'm not going to lie. So it's currently Tuesday. I arrived here on Sunday afternoon. I arrived at my Airbnb and it was horrible. It was very, very dirty. Like you could not stay there. It was just so unclean and probably not good for anyone's health. So I ended up trying to find a hotel to stay in for my first night. I was on the phone to Airbnb to try and cancel the booking because I could not stay there. And then I was trying to find another Airbnb that was close enough to the university. And yeah, it was not a good start. However, I am now in a wonderful Airbnb, which is not too far from the university and everything is sorted and I am settled in and and I am relaxed. So as you know, I am going to be spending the next six weeks in France doing a research project here in collaboration with a lab at the University of uh, Brittany. So La Université de Bretagne Occidentale. I think that's how you say it. So I met everyone today. Today was my first day because it was a public holiday yesterday. So we just came up with a plan for the bioassays and how I am going to do them basically and how many of my samples I'm going to be able to test and where we're going to start. So today was kind of more of a meeting everyone kind of day, getting shown around the facilities and planning and organizing the next few weeks. So I will properly be stuck in in the lab tomorrow. I've been given permission to film in the lab. So I'm going to show you guys around a bit more this week and yeah I f feel gross because I've been caught in the rain I have brought the Scottish weather with me to France apparently because it's been pouring down but I'm going to go and relax for the rest of the evening because I've edited this week's lab vlog so I am uploading that currently I'm going to relax because I have a very busy day tomorrow yeah so welcome to the france lab vlogs i hope you enjoy hello my friends it is in fact a new day i'm just back in the same spot again because there's lovely big windows in this airbnb and it brings so much light so it's before nine o'clock and i have not went to the lab yet because i have a few meetings this morning so they're quite happy with me to take my meetings from home and then i'll go to the lab probably just before lunchtime. so my meeting this morning was super exciting i can't tell you much about it just now but yeah a future collaboration so watch this space because I am so excited about this. I can't tell you much about it just now, but honestly, I'm very excited. I have another meeting soon with a committee that I'm involved with, Society of Chemical Industry. Um, we are judging an essay competition, so we're having a meeting to discuss the winners, which is very cool. And then, yeah, I'm going to go to the lab and I'm going to begin preparing the plates for the microalgal bioassay. Can't remember if I told you about this bioassay yesterday, but I will try and show you some bits in the lab today. I'm basically doing a bioassay for anti-fouling, which is to see how the uh, microalgae attach um, in the presence of my compounds that I brought with me. So this is exciting. So this is a test that I can't do back in Aberdeen. Uh, so I'm excited to get started with that today. But for now, I'm going to eat breakfast and then I'm going to get ready for my next meeting and then we're going to go to the lab. friends I am preparing my samples for the bioassay today so very busy day and a late start because of the meetings this morning so back to the lab we go before I have lunch so this is my little desk space and this is the rest of the office and there's also desks in there too so I'm going to have my lunch now check over some calculations and then go back to the lab again. Hello friends, it's Thursday today and I think I showed briefly yesterday that I was preparing the samples for the bioassay that we're going to run here, which is involving microalgae, which is very, very cool because I only work with bacteria in the lab back in Scotland. So today we want to transfer the samples to the plates and then allow the solvent to dry to let the compounds basically stick to the bottom of the plates. And then if the algae are ready tomorrow, then we will add the algae and allow the algae to grow in the presence of the samples to see 
see how it affects the growth of the algae. But I cannot get into the lab, so I'm waiting for the master's student Lilia, who has been helping me out. Uh, she's going to come and hopefully let me into the lab. If not, um, I will just do some work on my computer. I have the paper to edit, which is still not finished. Um, need to finish that by the end of the week. So I have lots of things that I can be doing on the computer anyway, but I need to try and get those samples transferred into the plate at some point today. So when you're working with microalgae, it's important to use a black 96 well plate and that's because they prevent the light from getting into the plate and you need to prevent light because microalgae grow in the presence of light. So if you don't want them to grow, you have to use the black plates. This is my little bench setup. I've got all of my tubes, all of my 21 plates that I prepared for the bioassay, my samples and the multiple different dilutions as well. Here is just my plan, my layout of how I wanted to put the samples into the 96 well plate so I could stay nice and organised. Good morning friends, happy Friday. I was going to do a little apartment tour this morning but it is very dull as you might be able to see it is raining again. But tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be nice weather so I'll do the tour when it's a bit brighter in here so you can see the apartment better. It's 10 past 8 currently, I'm going to go downstairs to the baker to get some fresh bread so I can have some breakfast. And then I think I might take the bus this morning because, like I say, it's raining and it won't be very pleasant to walk. Today we're going to check if the microalgae have grown enough to use for the experiments. Uh, the technician Yannick, who is so and so nice, he says that he doesn't think they'll be ready today, more likely they'll be ready on Monday. But we're going to check anyway and today my main focus is trying to finish that paper that I really need to finish by the end of today. So that's the plan, let's go and get some bread from the bakery. So that machine I just showed you is supposed to dry my plates so the compounds stick to the bottom of the wells but we put it on last night and because it automatically stops when it thinks the plate is dry it's to do with like the mass difference at the beginning and at the end it automatically stopped last night but the wells weren't dry and I've got 14 plates that I need to try for the testing and there's four inside currently and they were drying all day yesterday and overnight tonight even though they stopped after an hour and a half so this could be problematic because I only have six weeks here and these plates need to dry because I need to do the testing a little bit stressed <laughs> but for now I am going to edit the paper like I said this morning and we'll check them in about an hour Hello friends, I'm back in my apartment now. I took the bus. I wanted to have some lunch at home because I didn't bring anything and I did not want to eat another ham and cheese sandwich from the cafe. I have healthier options here. So I am back here just for a little while to have my lunch and then I will get the bus and I'll go back to the university again. The plates that I put in the dryer thing yesterday are finally dried so I put four more plates in and I finished the paper edits also and sent the paper to my colleague for him to add his uh, corrections as well. So yeah, it's a fairly relaxed day today. It's so warm. I was wearing a jumper and a jacket and the sun has decided to come out and it's 19 degrees so I'm roasty toasty. Anyway, let's quickly make lunch and then get the bus and go back to the university. Oh, I forgot to mention getting the bus here is so easy because I went to the bus office, I guess, and I got this card uh, which allows me to have unlimited bus and tram travel so I can get the bus anytime and the buses are really frequent and the service is really good. So. Hello friends, to finish off this week's vlog I just want to give you a little tour of the Airbnb that I'm staying in. Yeah, like I was saying, early in the vlog this place is so nice and it's so nice living on my own as well and not having to worry about flatmates or you know cooking at the same time using the bathroom at the same time yeah let's jump into the tour now so this is the front door where you come in and there's a nice big clock and also a wardrobe that has like a hoover and a brush and a mop and everything which is great uh, very very useful and also i have lots of shopping bags to go to the supermarket so that's great that's one of my suitcases up there um and there's a little mirror in the hallway please ignore this i have to take the rubbish um out to the bins outside and if we go this way we get to the bathroom which is just nice and simple oh i did not put the bath mat 
back down after hoovering because I just finished hoovering and tidying everything up. There we go. Okay, so yeah, very simple, nice shower. Uh, hello, nice sink with some storage underneath and a washing machine, which is very important also because you've got to clean your clothes somehow and a nice little towel rail. So it's all very functional and very comfortable in there. And this is the bedroom area. I love these windows. They're so nice. Uh, apart from this curtain is falling down. I've asked someone from the agency to come and help uh, to fix it. Sorry. This is my view outside the window. Very nice. Looks out into this little courtyard. And I think someone is living in there. I don't know if it's an Airbnb or what, but I've seen people come in and out of there. I have a dryer thingy for drying my clothes. And this is the bed, which is nice and big. Just some paintings on the wall. It's very comfortable in this space, I have to say. And very big wardrobes as well for my clothes. And there's extra bed linen and everything in there. There's also radiators, but I've not had to use them so far because it's been quite warm in the apartment. And this is my favorite space. So this is the kitchen and living room area. So here's the kitchen over here we have the oven and a hob and a full fridge dishwasher as well which is very very nice and yeah it's just really colorful i've got everything that i need i have a kettle a microwave a toaster everything and there's like pots and pans cutlery plates and everything up there too uh yeah and these windows again are just so beautiful and big and yep have a nice little mirror again, another radiator, and this is the living room area, which is also very nice. The TV is all in French, so I put it on in the background sometimes to help me learn my French. Um, and I put on subtitles as well to try and help me understand better. But this is the lovely little living room area. So I've been spending my evenings chilling out here, editing my videos, watching stuff on my iPad, like Netflix and Disney Plus and all of that. And this is my lovely little space. So I'd mentioned previously that I had funding for this trip. So I had funding towards my flights, my accommodation and my food while I'm staying here for my, my research internship. So that's really great. I just had to end up spending a bit more money on this place because it's obviously very, very nice. But that's OK, because again, it's not my money. I'm very grateful to have had that funding to help me out. Yes, so I'm very happy here. Is I feel very safe. I feel very content and very comfortable. So I think that's really important if you're doing an exchange like this, where you're going to a different country want to be comfortable when you're staying on your own okay so that ends this week's vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you on sunday i think for the next video because i'm doing two videos a week now one video showing like lab stuff and what i get up to during the week and then one video a bonus video showing you about life in france in general during this trip thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye